All right, let me see who my next patient is. Mrs. I'm a patient, 66. Hmm, I wonder if there's any vision or hearing problems. Nope, great, okay. Get all fixed up here. <laughs> Can't forget this. Hi, Mrs. Patient. My name's Jennifer. I'll be helping to take care of you today. Hello. Before we get started, I do need to verify your name and your birthday. Can you go ahead and state your full name for me? Sure. I'm a patient, 12347. Perfect. Thank you. What brought you into the office today? I went to the Senior Citizen Center this morning, and they had a free health fair going on, and they took my blood pressure, and when they did, they said it was really, really high, and that I should come in as soon as I could to see the doctor. Okay, do you know what your pressure was? No, but they wrote it down to give to you. Great, thank you. 190 over 106. Okay. How are you feeling right now? Not great. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? I feel kind of dizzy and lightheaded. Dizzy? How long have these symptoms been going on? Um, th oh, three or four days. Okay. But every day it's gotten worse. Gotten worse, okay. Do you take any medication for high blood pressure? My doctor has me taking a um, water pill. Okay. And I take a pill that's for high blood pressure. Okay, great. And so just to clarify, you do take two pills, one for high blood pressure and then another water pill. Yes, yes. And did you take them today? Yes. How long have you been on them? About a month. One month. And are you taking those medications regularly? Yes. Any problems with taking the medication? Mm, no. I don't like it. You don't like it. Okay. You sound a little frustrated. I feel like they make me tired. Okay. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Well, I just feel like it makes me tired. Makes you tired. Okay. And your tiredness started after you began the medication? I feel like it, yes. Okay. So besides being tired, are you okay taking your pills and no problems? I don't see myself like a little old lady with all these pill bottles lined up, so I don't, that bothers me. Okay, okay. All right, I just want to make sure I have all the information correct. So you've been on blood pressure medication for about a month, mm -hmm. both a water pill and a hypertensive medication and this was prescribed by your doctor, is this correct? Yes. Great, thank you. And you have been taking them regularly, even yes. though you've been feeling a little bit more tired since starting them? Yes. Okay. And the last couple days, you haven't been feeling yourself, but you've continued to take your medication, mm -hmm. and when you went and had your blood pressure checked this morning, that's when you got the 190 over 106. Mm -hmm. Great, thank you so much. And we do want to talk more about your blood pressure, but I also want to ask you a few questions just to get to know you better. As we get older, we want to make sure that our home's safe, that you've got the support you need, and you mentioned some concerns about your blood pressure medication, so I just want to talk to you about a few things related to that. Okay. First of all, do you live alone? Yes. Okay. Tell me a little bit more about your support people. Are there people around, family members, that help take care of you? Yes. I live in a condo close to my daughter and my two grandchildren. and. Um, so I have a great support system. Wonderful. My daughter's over to see me. Well, I see her, I talk to her every single day. I probably see her every other day. Okay, okay, wonderful. Sounds like you've got a good support system. I do. Now the other thing about sometimes taking those medications is that it makes you go to the bathroom at night and you get up a lot. Have you noticed that? Yes, I hate it. Okay, about how many times a night are you up? <sighs> probably two or three times. And I used to sleep all through the night without waking up. Okay, great. When you're up a lot at night, especially when you have to go to the bathroom, there's a big risk for safety concerns. I just want to go over a few things with you to make sure that you're safe. Do you have any carpets or anything out that might trip you on your way to the bathroom at night? No. Um, my daughter made me take the um, runner out of the hallway, and then she put a night light in the hallway that I just leave on. So Perfect. Perfect. Sounds like she's taking good care of you. I she's do have wonderful. a list here. 
This little list is just some general safety tips for the home. I'm going to give you this as well. Do other things that you might want to keep in mind. Okay, thank you. Oh, Mrs. Patient, I have to tell you something. You look just like my Aunt Barbara. I, I called her Barbie growing up. I'm going to have to call you Barbie now. You know, when I was five, she took me to work with her. That's how I decided to go into health care. Anyway, anyway, we're going to go talk to the doctor. We're going to see what's up and then, you know, get you out of here in a jiffy, I promise. Anyway, Barbie, I'll see you in a minute. So what brings you in today? I've been short of breath and I've I coughed up a little bit of blood. You're not a smoker, are you? Yes. You know that stuff's gonna kill you. I have smoked for 32 years and I have tried to stop. Well, you know, obviously you have not tried hard enough. People stop all the time. My stomach hurts and I went to the health fair and mm -hmm. they took my blood pressure. Are you listening to me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, you're not. I can tell. Okay, looks like the physician has you scheduled for an endoscopic retrograde colon geopancreatography today. All right, we're going to need you to sign a consent form and then we're going to transport you down to radiology. Now, this will be done under conscious sedation so you know you're going to receive the lidocaine down your throat. And we should be good there. All righty, let's get this ball rolling. I don't understand. What, it, what am I having done? Mrs. Patient, I'm finishing up my paperwork and I forgot to ask, what did you have for lunch today? Nothing. I couldn't eat. I, I have cancer. Oh, I'm sure you'll be fine. Okay, I'll, I'll write that you didn't have anything for lunch. Great.